Okay, how's it everyone? So yeah, um, I'm sure this venue looks familiar to you guys. So I'm at Kloofsig Lodge today. It's Easter weekend. It's a Saturday now. I told you guys on that video I released on Thursday um, that I'm going to fish here with my brother. He's visiting from the Northern Cape. So there he is, um, my younger brother. Um, you can see, unfortunately, he's a bit short, but <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's his problem. Um, so yeah, we're at Kloofsig today. Um, thought I'd bring him through to Cliff Six, nice venue. Um, yeah, so we got here just before six. Um, lines were in at six, and within what I think 15 20 minutes, uh, we already caught something a small little catfish. You'll see that as well. Uh, we just had to wait for the guys with the air balloons that came up to move along because they were making a lot of noise. I wouldn't have been able to film the intro. So yeah, um, fishing three rods today, similar places. Um, I'll show you guys now where, where we're fishing. So yeah, uh, let's hope for the best and yeah, let's get some carp on the line. Okay, so quick update. Let me show you just quickly where we're fishing today. So that left hand rod all the way out here against the reeds. Um, then I've got the middle rod is out to the middle part of the lake. That's where we just caught that small little catfish. And then my trusty margin rod here on the right hand side is out just in front of these grasses that you see here. So yeah, we had some activity already here. Lots of fish jumping and showing. Okay, let's hope for the best. Okay, there you guys can see. Um, again, it's not the species we wanted, but yeah, early bite. Uh, rod's been in maybe what 10 15 minutes. And yeah, my brother's already on the mark. Um, yes, it's a catfish, but yeah, it's better than nothing. Okay, I'm gonna put it back and cast the rod back out. <laughs> Just a quick update of what's going on. So yeah, the original spot we were in, which is one of my favorite spots, um, yeah, it's just, it's dead there completely. Um, so I had a walk around the venue and yeah, lots of activity on this side where I am now. This is also a spot where I fished before. Um, so yeah, I know it also produces a lot. Um, you'll see just off my shoulder, uh, there just right next to my neck underneath my ear about there's a little opening like a small little cove there so I've picked up lots of fish there before um, so I dropped one rig there over there a uh, bit of a change of tactics um, corn or millis does very well at this venue as well so yeah dropped a Ronnie rig out of two fake maize and then two hands full of um, some uh, sweet corn and then pellets over the area as well, hoping to pick up something there. And then, yeah, the other two rods is out, one the middle, one out to the front. And then the left-hand rod is a bit further to the left, so to where we saw activity. So, yeah, I'm um, hoping the move pays off. Um, but I must say, I feel a little bit more confident here. But again, um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be the only ones here today. So, if... If nothing changes or we don't pick up any activity here, yeah, we'll have a walk around again. And then, yeah, if we have to, we'll move again. We've got the whole day. It's only 9 o'clock now, so it's still very early. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hope the move pays off. Okay, I'm going to fight my brother. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to drag it. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. Ja, maar jy wat, jy moet nou trek en begin trek, anders hy swem na die bome toe, so. Nee, nou is daar die los. Oké, okay, vast. Okay. Oh, 
dat die skaal naar mij toe is. Hou hem. 7,5 Dat is goed. Ja, 7,4. Ik heb honger. Ik wil eten niet. Okay, is dit maar neer. So ja, yeah, um, as you guys saw, we just landed this uh, nice little common. Uh, we just weighed at 7.4 kg's. So for my brother, um, that's a new personal best for him. I did warn him beforehand that, and I told him when we, before we got here, I told him yesterday, I think he might need to bring some clothes with him because I think he's gonna go, gonna get wet. So yeah, he's gonna show us the carp, and while he's lifting it up and everything, he's gonna get, he's gonna get wet. So yeah, luckily for him, it's, for him, it's two small buckets, but yeah, he's gonna get both of them, um, just to make sure he's properly wet. Okay, bring him on. Nicky, let him go. Fin it there, on the fin, on the fin. Then bring your other hand om, there, om there. Yeah. Okay, and then lift him up, face him for the camera. The mooi for so. Okay, 7.5 for Nicky. It's his new personal best. So yeah, enjoy. Ah, woo! And that is freaking cool. Yeah, it's not carp on our boat. That's payback also for all the hell he gave me as a youngster. So yeah, well done, Nicky. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it's a coat. <laughs> it's freaking freezing. <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah, we're gonna put it back. Release it back. Oh, and just for in, um, this one fell to that two fake maze on the Ronnie rig that we have in that little opening there. So yeah, the move paid off. That's the good news. So yeah, I think it's an awesome way to start the day with the first carp on the line. Awesome. Okay, we're going to put it back. Thanks. Cheers. Sit on the No, 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 no. Uh-huh. Sit on the air. He's still learning about <laughs> fishermen and yeah, taking care of the fish and everything. So yeah, just had a run on that left-hand rod. It's the one out on the pineapple banana boilies. Uh, again, not really what I'm looking for, but yeah, they do put up quite a nice fight. So it was a nice fight getting it out. Yeah, decent sized catfish. Um, yeah, not too bad, nice and big. Okay, I'm gonna put it back and get the lines back out. Awesome. No, uh, God. Football. Okay, so that sucks. Uh, I think you guys just saw how I lost that one. Uh, that was that second spot uh, that we cast it to or dropped the rig in that little opening between the reeds here just behind me off my shoulder yeah it was a, a quite a big take um, the drag was a bit tight because I was scared of the the fallen tree that's not too far from there but yeah as soon as it took the bait it shot off like a rocket uh, to the left and yeah I think something there either the tree branches or something in the water just completely cut the line off there wasn't even time for me to uh, start playing with the drag or anything yeah but that sucks um, yeah so we only had that one carp so far this morning at around 11 and then the catfish and now we lost that one um yeah uh it's got about an hour left quickly put the put the rig back on that spot again uh, uh topped off the bait on the other spot so yeah let's see what happens we've got an hour about left and yeah holding thumbs for this last bit of the session Okay, 
everyone. Uh, that's the session done. So yeah, um, so yeah, for the day we got that small catfish this morning. Um, then my brother got his PB carp, his new one at 7.4 kgs. Um, I brought him to Kluwsig because I knew if we catch something, it's going to break his PB definitely, with the average sizes that come out here. So yeah, he's very chuffed with himself <laughs> being able to break his PB. Yeah, and then that catfish I caught, and then um, the one that got where the line got um, cut. Yeah, that was horrendous. Uh, it's an awful feeling when that happens, especially if you've been waiting the whole rest, well, the rest of the day, hoping to catch something. But yeah, we know that's fishing, it happens. Yeah, but it still sucks. But at least, yeah, we had uh, an awesome time catching up and talking rubbish and all that stuff and so on. So yeah, it was a good time outside. Um, awesome venue still, the view surrounding you, the mountains and the river you can hear in the background and everything. Yeah, so it was really awesome. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Till next time, cheers.